the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john jesus said to his disciples anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be one who loves me and anybody who loves me will be loved by my father and i shall love him and show myself to him judas this was not judas iscariot said to him lord what is all this about do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world jesus replied if anyone loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we shall come to him and make our home with him those who do not love me do not keep my words and my word is not my own it is the word of the one who sent me i have said these things to you while still with you but the advocate the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you everything and remind you of all i have i have said to you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus what is the proof of our love for jesus love for the church jesus says it very simply the proof is when we observe the commandments of jesus very clear yesterday we heard by your love for one another you will be known as my disciples and today jesus says if you really love me prove it by keeping my commandments commandment of giving primacy to god in our life because without him we can do nothing happy that even on a public holiday on a big day we got up early in the morning and seek god and his grace the lord will bless you according to the measure of your faith the psalm says in vain is your early rising you are going later to rest unless the lord builds the house the builders labor in vain unless the lord guards the city all the watchmen's labor will be in vain for those who trust in him who seek him he can give graces even in their slumber the psalm says and jesus said very clearly without me you can do nothing not something but nothing let us continue to seek the seek the lord of our life by giving primacy to him throughout our life the next commandment of course the commandment to love one another as jesus himself has loved us yesterday we reflected on it unconditional love forgiving love patient love love manifested with humility love expressed in tears love manifested through our care and concern for our family members for people who are in need this is the way the lord tells us to prove that we are truly his disciples that we are truly loving him in the process we should not try to get all the attention on ourselves you know in today's first reading paul and barnabas once again make a man who was a paralytic walk again the people are thinking they are gods paul is misunderstood as zeus and barnabas as hermes paul as hermes and barnabas as zeus god himself has come down and the priests of zeus want to offer worship to him and then paul tells them 
all glory is to god only we are human beings he doesn't want to exploit the situation and attract the attention of the people or capture the concentration on people everything we are it is thanks to the grace of god luke sound in chapter 10 to us says you also having done all that is commanded of you say we are unworthy servants we have only done what is our duty even in the parish we do something for the church contribute something don't boast up paul and barnabas shows the way we are unworthy servants one of my favorite verses in the gospel of luke luke 17 10 we are we have to say we are unworthy servants we have only done what is our duty that to having done all that is commanded of us sometimes we don't do everything that is commanded of us we have to have that attitude the beautiful song also of today not to us lord not to us all glory to you there is a 90 year old priest or more the great father rosignol mep missionary in india now in france when he was appreciated for something immediately he quoted this song not to us lord not to us all glory and honor to you today let us also acknowledge all the gifts of the lord thank you lord for blessing me with life blessing me with the gift of my christian faith in my case with the gift of priesthood not to me lord not to me all glory and honor to you lord let me prove to the world by giving importance to you and by my love and care and concern for the people whom whom you place before me who come into contact with me that should be our prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen